I'm now being joined live on the news by a senior researcher for the Sahel program of the Institute for Security Studies, Fahiraman Rodrik Kune. It's so good to have you join us on the news at this time. Good morning. So now, Burkina Faso's army yesterday outstead President Rok Kabori and dissolved the government and the National Assembly and suspended the constitution, seizing control of the country after two days of unrest. Can you tell us what's the latest development and there are rumors of the military fueling the coup. So what exactly led to this particular military coup? Yes, um, the situation apparently is not a surprise for those who um, currently uh, are following development in Burkina Faso. Uh, the last uh, uh, month and uh, over a month uh, since I think the middle of last year in June, there was this uh, serious deadly attack of civilians uh, in the east uh, region of the country and also a, an attack of the soldiers in, uh, uh, in November, which led to the death of 53 soldiers. All those these attacks um, and also uh, overs attack of, um, um, moving on a daily basis were a base of a serious social anger against the government. And there was demonstration uh, current de demonstration in street by civil society organization, but also uh, uh, political uh, um, certain political parties claiming that a change in the political and the policy of security, and also some claiming the the, the resign of the Kabore regime. Uh, and uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, the government instead of giving. Uh, serious effective uh, means to the army and also uh, changing, uh, 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 have a, a good investment in the uh, security situation as uh, um, I can say as put uh, the fingers on some members of the army, they will do a serious of doing a coup d'etat. Okay. So this situation was already a deterioration security situation and political one too. All right, you talked about how the situation did not come as a surprise to many. And of course, we would know that several times the government denied an attempted coup in Burkina Faso. But what's the reaction of citizens? Because we got some reports of some citizens actually supporting the mutinous military. So right now, at the latest, what's the reaction of citizens there? There was not big demonstration again, again this uh, uh, coup. Uh, as you said, uh, yesterday there was gathering in one of the important symbolic places in Ouagadougou uh, to support the, the, the military. And at the same time, as I said, there was not uh, people against. That means uh, at least there is a kind of tolerance against this coup. Uh, but that not mean that uh, the, the, there is uh, a total support of uh, the, the military junta. Uh, if we take the history of Burkina Faso, we will face uh, for a long military ruling and uh, the uprising of the 2014 against the Blaise Compaire regime. One of the demands was that the military should not anymore uh, involve in the political situation in Burkina Faso. Uh, so uh, the situation is too early to have clear um, position of all the population uh, regarding this new trend. Okay, now Burkina Faso has suffered chronic instability since gaining independence in 1960, including several coups. What are the implications of this latest coup at this time? Uh, yes, uh, I was saying that uh, there was a very long military in Burkina Faso. This is the seventh coup of, uh, in the country of the uh, military. And uh, uh, it, it, I, I, I can say this trend, what we are seeing now, uh, there is a kind of new development uh, in the way that the coup appears and the justification, the narrative used by the uh, leaders of those coups. 
the security question, the security narrative is more and more emerging of one of the failure of the uh, regimes. And also, when you take the case of uh, the, the last case of Guinea, uh, the, the, the feeling of the elites uh, seen as corrupted, as a, um, I would say corrupted and failing to give good governance, are the major trends that are now uh, giving a kind of popular coup d'etat, because we, are, we, we can see that there is a kind of tolerance and a kind of addition of people uh, around those schools. Okay, Fahira Man, with the nature of this takeover, do you think this would be a temporary one or another long military dictatorship? Uh, we are, West Africa is facing now two transitional military and in Guinea and also in, uh, uh, in Mali. And what we are seeing, there is the feeling of those transitional el elites to have a clear uh, deadline, a clear calendar to uh, to stop this to stop transition. So, uh, uh, will the Burkina Faso case will be different? We don't know at the time being. Uh, the the Genta said in its communique that uh, they are open to for a short transition for in a in a, in a short delay, but with the consensus. Uh, a dialogue with all the Burkina Faso political and social forces. But this is first claiming. So uh, it's not, it's not a, a clear uh, engagement. It's not a clear engagement of those uh, gender, of this gender. So uh, time will tell. Now, with the constitution suspended, uh, what does this coup mean for Burkina Faso's democracy? It means that there is the interruption of uh, institutional uh, and democracy process. Uh, it means that the Burkina Faso is stepping back to a moment where uh, military were dominant in the ruling of uh, the political life. And it also means that uh, there is uh, really a serious uh, concern about the uh, uh, fragilities of a political institution, not only in Burkina Faso, but in many uh, main of the countries, African states, where when there is a, a, a kind of uh, blockage, a kind of feeling of solving problems, the militaries are not far, they are close, and they are uh, uh, eager to come back to the power. Uh, that's the problem. Now, before the coup, the military troops recently protested demand the removal of military chiefs and more resources to fight Islamist militants, which you rightly said. What move do you think uh, Rok Kabore could have taken that would probably have calmed the, the members of the army? There, there was a, a serious a lack of confidence between Kabore and uh, his army. Since Kabore came after the uh, social insurrection of 2014, uh, which uh, was a clear uh, demand of changing the trends uh, of ruling Burkina Faso, while, the, as, as I said, the military was so, so, uh, was so present. So he tried to put uh, aside, uh, to sideline militaries in the political uh, affair, but at the same time, it did not take concrete, uh, concrete decision to reform the security apparatus to make it more uh, uh, performance, to give him more uh, uh, operational means and financial means. I think it's the feeling of the governance of, of the security apparatus that is uh, one of the key uh, stone points of this coup. All right, thank you so much for hearing Mandra Dracona for sharing your views uh, on the Burkina Faso coup. Thank you. Thank you.